Thanks for waking up with us. National Puppy Day was on Friday, and not only do <laughs> dogs make great friends, they can actually help improve your health. That's right. Studies show that petting and playing with therapy oh. animals can decrease stress. I'm not stressed at all in humans. <laughs> Here with more about the health benefits of a furry friend is Gemma McKee, manager of Camp Bow Wow in Rockland. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Tell us about our little buddies. <laughs> yeah. <there. laughs> so these guys are 11 weeks old. They are wire terrier mixes. Um, they actually are a litter of six. These are the last two that are left, so they are for adoption. Um, they're from an adoption agency that we work with called North Star Animal Placement. Um, and you can find them on Facebook, and they have a whole application that you can fill out if you're interested. And there's a whole litter of them, you yeah, said, right? Yeah, four of them are gone. So these guys are the last Aww. ones. So this is a female, and this is Ripley, and that's Rascal. And yeah. Very, very cute. <laughs> Adorable. And we're, we're talking this morning about how pets can improve your health. Studies have shown that it can help improve, especially our mental health. Mm -hmm. So there's a few different things we're going to talk about, starting with helping with depression. How can pets help with depression? Well, I feel like, you know, nowadays with depression, I feel like it's so out there and, you know, everybody's talking about it. And there's been a lot of studies done that say that, you know, if you are suffering from depression, that adopting a pet is a great thing to help with it because, you know, dogs, they'll love you unconditionally and they'll listen to you. And, you know, it gives you something to focus on besides yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so I think it's it's a really good thing to look into. And also helps with cardiovascular disease, hypertension, yep. um, allergies, which was yeah. surprising, yeah. blood pressure. Yeah, exactly. And I think like allergies a lot of times has to do with stress, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you break out from things that you wouldn't normally. So these guys definitely help out with that. <laughs> <laughs> and also engaging your mind, researchers yeah. say. Explain that a little bit. So, you know, when you're taking them out and you're walking them, people come up to you, they ask you questions, and you know, it jogs your mind a little bit. You have to know kind of where they're from, what they like, all that stuff. So it gets your mind engaged and ready to talk about them. And talk a little bit about how it can help children, especially mm -hmm. with building their confidence. So especially children with like math um, issues and like speaking in public, these guys like they help their confidence a little bit more. You know, they talk to them and obviously they can't really talk back, but it builds their confidence because they're able to do it and listen to themselves and they listen to them too. That is so true. You know, my daughter and I, we just got, we had a puppy a year and a half ago. We yeah. adopted her and it has changed everything. Yeah. I mean, it really helps kids with responsibility oh, exactly. as well. Yeah. And uh, and I never knew what it was like to have someone at home that is just so excited to see you no matter what. <laughs> so selfish. Exactly. Yeah, they exactly. Are. You come home crying, you know, they'll they'll kiss your yes. tears away. It's the best. I know. I love it. And people, they do talk to their dogs. Oh, Andrea oh. Is, is, yeah. doesn't have a dog. I don't have like, a dog. I didn't grow up with a dog. Trust me, I do it all the time. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh, how cute. And tell us a little bit about Camp Bow Wow. So Camp Bow Wow is, uh, we've been around for nine years in Rockland. Um, we have over 140 locations as this franchise. Um, but we've been in Nanuet, yeah, for nine years, and we are a boarding and daycare facility as well as grooming. So, you know, we have people drop off before they go to work, mm -hmm. pick them up at the end of the day. Um, we have them do that every day, two days a week, three days a week. And then we also have people that stay overnight. So when they go away, or even if they're just going out for the weekend and they want to drop them off, mm -hmm. we'll take care of them. So they're playing with each other all day. And again, if you're interested in adopting yes. either one of these, the, the foundation is which, what again? North Star Placement North Adoption Star Agency. North Star Placement Adoption. Yeah. Gemma, thank you so yeah. much. Thank, thank you, guys. It. Thanks for bringing in these cuties. Yeah. I know I'm going to have to give them back to you because he's... <laughs> This is great information. It's on our website, cbsnewyork.com. And we'll be right back. <laughs>